Hello everyone, welcome back to Power Quality Lecture Series. In the coming videos, we are going to discuss about Power Quality Management in Smart Grid. There is Power Quality in Smart Grid and various Power Quality issues in Grid Connected Renewable Energy Sources. Uh, and um, some Power Quality Conditioners which are used for, sm uh, used for Smart Grid. Then Electromagnetic Interference and uh, related uh, some terminology and as we all know that uh, it is necessary to meet the energy demand by utilizing the renewable energy resources like wind solar uh, biomass uh, 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 other chp cogeneration etc to in order to have a sustainable growth and uh, uh, social progress so in sustainable energy system energy conservation and the use of renewable energy is very important so the need to integrate the power sources from renewable uh, uh, energy generation like wind and solar into power system uh, is to make it possible to minimize the environmental impact of uh, conventional plant as we already discussed in our distributed generation uh, paper. So the integration of wind and solar energy into the existing power system uh, presents uh, technical challenges such as uh, voltage regulation, uh, flicker, um, harmonic distortion, um, stability problems, etc. So these power quality issues are to be uh, confined to IEC and IEEE standards. So these kind of renewable energy resources are integrated into power system means we are utilizing lot of power electronic type of converter that definitely will uh, introduce so many uh, power quality issues. So uh, uh, many in literature many papers reveal that the, these power quality issues can occur at the generation, transmission and distribution level. The issue of power quality is of greater importance to solar and wind turbine as sources. Uh, a major issue related to interconnection of distributed energy resources into power grid is the uh, quality of power provided to consumers connected to the grid. So the smart grid as we uh, discussed smart grid is a modern electric power grid infrastructure which is smoothly integrate automated control advanced sensing and metering and technologies uh, uh, the power quality management uh, is concerned with the control of quality of the ac sine wave of the electricity uh, electric power supply so a power quality management is typically concerned with the following issues uh, harmonic and distortion and transient power factor voltage sags and dips, current and voltage instability. So when you are discussing about the power quality management in smart grid also, uh, the same thing uh, happened. Uh, we were, uh, the power quality issues are uh, same as that of a conventional uh, power system. Here we are utilizing a lot of uh, uh, power electronic type converter in order to integrate the renewable energy resources into uh, 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 conventional power system or the main grid. So, so the quality of uh, electrical power supply is a set of parameters which describes the process of electric power delivery to the user under normal operating conditions to determine the continuity of the supply. Uh, short and long uh, supply dis interruption and uh, which characterize the supply voltage in terms of magnitude, asymmetry, frequency and waveform shape etc. So the power quality uh, issues in the smart grid also um, similar to that of uh, uh, in our conventional power system a characteristics of voltage and current is never exactly equal to its nominal 
and desired value. The small deviations are called voltage variations and current variations. So when the voltage or current deviates significantly from its normal value or ideal waveform shape, these sudden deviations are called events, power quality events. So power quality events are a phenomena which can lead to tripping of the equipment to interruption of the production or uh, interruption of the planned operation or endanger power, uh, power system operation. So this includes interruptions, under voltage, over voltage, phase angle, gems and three phase unbalance. So as we all know that uh, the sources of failure power quality issues are in the presence of nonlinear loads, arcing loads, switching operation, reactive loads, atmospheric conditions, unstable loads, uh, neighboring unbalanced system, etc. So let us, uh, our interest is uh, to find out what are the uh, issues of uh, power quality uh, issues in smart grid or what kind of uh, uh, additional uh, power, uh, effect of uh, integrating a renewable energy system into uh, conventional grid. So when a smart grid is introduced, Mm. Uh, there will be uh, emission by new devices. That means emission in the sense uh, uh, there is a, a, a increase in the harmonic emission. Harmonic, uh, the problem associated with the harmonics will be increased because we are uh, utilizing a lot of uh, uh, this kind of nonlinear loads in order to integrate and control the solar and wind or uh, uh, other kind of renewable energy resources into the grid. When smart grid are introduced, uh, uh, we expect the uh, increase in the production at lower voltage level. That means increase in the production or uh, energy production at a distributed uh, level. That is what is known as distributed generation. And uh, uh, whenever, uh, when we are uh, thinking about uh, a smart grid there will be uh, the addition or increase in the new type of consumption also that is new type of consumption means a uh, uh, charging station for electric vehicle or expanded high speed railways etc so uh, the type of uh, consumption also will be uh, different and also uh, the uh, power production uh, will be increased at a distributed energy resource level. So that is what is the effect of smart grid, the change due to the smart grid. So, so th some of these new types of consumption will emit power quality disturbances. Uh, that is a harmonic, it will increase the harmonic emission. So that is what is known as the emission or harmonic emission by uh, new devices. So. Uh, most existing end user equipment which are like computer, uh, television, lamps, etc. is the exclusively at the lower order integer harmonics. They will, they will also uh, emit the lower order uh, uh, harmonic components. Uh, the measurement the uh, the new new type of uh, uh, harmonic emission that is by using new type of load and new type of generation uh, it will generate uh, low levels of harmonics at higher frequencies so the measurement of these kind of low level harmonic at higher frequencies will be more difficult than for existing situation with higher har harmonic at lower frequencies. So this might require the development of new measurement techniques including uh, uh, we in including a, 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 a analysis tool uh, to plot the frequency response of existing uh, uh, frequency response of this kind of uh, uh, harmonic spectrum. So, 
that is a one of the effect when in a smart grid due to the new type of load and new type of generation at distribution level the harmonic emission will be increased then interference between devices and power line communication that is the second uh, type of uh, power quality uh, issues uh, due to in a smart grid environment that is smart grid will depend to a large extent on the ability to communicate between devices uh, customers distributed generator and the grid operator so uh, the concept of smart grid and it, it, it mainly depending uh, the main uh, thing that makes a conventional grid to a smart grid is its communication so many types of communication channels are uh, possible so power line communication might seems an obvious choice due to its easy availability but uh, choosing power line communication uh, could introduce no disturbances in the power system that is when you are using a power line communication in order to make the grid as, uh, as a part of smart grid uh, smart grid will Uh, introduce new disturbances in the power system resulting in a further reduction in the power quality so that is what is the effect depending upon the frequency chosen for the power line communication it may also result in the uh, uh, radiation uh, possibly interf uh, which will interfere with the radio uh, broadcasting and communication uh, lines so that is the second uh, uh, effect then third one is uh, uh, third one is immunity of devices that is uh, uh, due to the voltage uh, Uh, quality disturbance or we can say due to the voltage dip there are a simultaneous stripping of many distributed generators uh, can occur and this is a very big problem problem uh, as a smart grid attempts as attempt to maintain a balance between production and consumption mass stripping of consumption could have uh, similar adverse consequences so then fourth one is the weakening of uh, transmission grid weakening of uh, transmission grid uh, the increased use of uh, distributed generation and of large wind park will result in a reduction of the amount of conventional generation connected to the transmission uh, system so the fault level uh, will consequently be reduced and the power quality disturbance will spread further so this will worsen the voltage dips uh, fast voltage fluctuation that is the flicker and harmonics so that is one uh, another effect of uh, 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 the power quality issues in the smart grid structure Uh, there are some other effect like uh, with the smart grid the amount of consumption will have no limit provided it is uh, matched by the similar growth in the production so because uh, smart uh, in a smart grid structure uh, there are lot of uh, uh, generation based of renewable energy resources so we have no limit of uh, consumption so this continued growth in both production and consumption could lead to a harmonic voltage distortion in an unacceptable uh, uh, unacceptable uh, high value also the number of uh, switching actions will keep the increasing and might reach unacceptable uh, uh, limits that is uh, limits uh, that is recommended by ieee or iec so uh, also uh, the problems are uh, there as which, which are associated with the voltage quality 
so one aim of the smart grid is to improve the performance of the power system uh, without the need for large investments in lines cables and transformers from a customer point of uh, view point the improvement can be in terms of reliability voltage quality or price all other improvement example in the loading of cable or transformers uh coordination of the protective devices operational security efficiency uh are secondary to the customers customers are uh, demanding only the uh, voltage quality so uh, the smart grid uh, definitely improve the uh, it is a one of the positive aspect of a smart grid it will improve the uh voltage uh, uh, quality